This is obviously about uh, studying the role of microbiome in pancreatic cancer and how we can leverage gut microbiome in pancreatic cancer patients to improve their response to systemic treatment, mainly chemotherapy, but we are also thinking about combina new combinations of chemotherapy and immunotherapy. And the last part of the study, which is the probably the most exciting part is that to prospectively modify patients' microbiome before they receive their systemic treatment with fecal transplant from healthy donors with the help of the team here. So fecal transplants have been done for a long time and we're finding they're more and more useful for many conditions and, it, and, and very excitedly they seem to have some benefit for cancer. We've done this with other cancers now with uh, melanoma and renal cell cancer and we're excited to be involved with pancreatic cancer, which is a tumor for which, unfortunately, present therapies have been very disappointing. You know, from my uh, perspective as a microbiologist, my job will be to kind of determine uh, what the, the composition is of people, you know, before, um, you know, they get treatment and then after they get treatment, which is really interesting. And also what we're hoping to do is to pull out the bugs that might be really important for a positive um, a pancreatic um, cancer response uh, to the therapy. Well, certainly we hope to, uh, to manipulate the microbiome, uh, get patients doing better, and what's interesting with pancreatic cancer is such a tough cancer to treat that any benefit that we can provide, even if it's modest, would certainly be better than what we've got now. So uh, anything that's incremental would have a big impact on such a tough cancer to treat.